It's being called a Wright Brothers moment, the first controlled flight by an aircraft on another planet. NASA's four-foot-wide Ingenuity helicopter has now successfully flown three times in Mars' rarefied atmosphere. One woman has been working towards this for a long time. That's inspirational lead engineer Mimi Ong. I spoke to her about the history she's making and why no one should call her creation a drone. There's been a lot of out-of-this-world news the past few weeks. We have done it. A huge milestone. Definitely, for human beings, a historical moment. And one woman has had a front seat in mission control for it all. We can now say that human beings have flown a rotorcraft on another planet. <laughs> That's Mimi Ong. She's a NASA engineer and currently the project manager for the Mars Ingenuity, the mini helicopter that's been charming all of us Earthlings. You sound so stoked about space, which makes me so stoked about space. And I just love that infectious excitement that you have for what you do. We're on Earth and we're human beings here, but is there life out there? Are we alone? So uh, for me, that's always been the burning question. You know, different people have different, you know, wherever they get the, the, the rush, <laughs> like you're, you're talking about, you know. And for me, uh, because I really like to push a state of the art forward, you know, to advance mm. the field. And that she most certainly has. Just this weekend, her little helicopter that could achieved its fastest and furthest flight yet, streaming loads of data and imagery down to the Jet Propulsion Lab or JPL in Pasadena, California. I got quite emotional the other day. Uh, I actually started crying. I got this sense of our little four pound ingenuity just having a time of its life and it was hovering the way we like have been designing it to and testing and it was just like up hovering coming down landing and i'm like it doesn't miss us at all mimi's been excited about space for a long time she joined the jpl in 1990 and has worked in projects related to space flight and the nasa deep space network ever since a career she's fought hard for does it hit you how many young women, how many young, diverse women you could be inspiring? To be honest, I'm learning that. I don't want other kids, the next generation, to take as long as I did to realize that, you know, it's okay, you know, there is no such thing as you're not good enough. A young girl might look at you and say, I look like that, and seeing her say that means I can do it. So now I believe right now. Well, that would make me so happy. It wasn't obvious to me that I had a path to space exploration. Uh, while I was fascinated with space, right? Like, what's out there, you know? Is there life out there? Are we alone? I mean, that's something I didn't think I would ever get an opportunity to, uh, you know, have, uh, be a part of it. I, I, I received a lot of those comments, right? Why do you want to study that? Wouldn't you rather go into something that's more, you know, amenable for girls at the time, right? Lucky for Mimi, she had a woman in her own home who set exactly the right example for girls. Her mother got her PhD in math in the 1960s, the first woman from Myanmar to get her PhD from an American university. Did it strike you growing up? like how cool your mom was as a woman to, to be in that field, especially since today we're still talking about this deficit of women in STEM fields. It didn't really hit me until now, and especially after now that she's gone. For Ong, Mars is just the beginning. When it comes to her future goals, think infinity and beyond. Give me one that might blow my mind. A fully autonomous spacecraft, okay, that you just launch and you just say, launch and go find water on another planet. Just on your own, go explore, and then you just write back to us how it's going. All right, yep, oh. my mind blown. Mimi, I just thought of one other teeny tiny question, just because we la we giggle about it sometimes. Um, is there a reason that it is specifically a mini helicopter and not a drone? There is no technical difference. It's a helicopter or a drone. I was hung up on this one, and here's the reason. A drone, you go to a store or you order online, and the, you, know, you unpack it, and you read the instructions, and you fly it outside. And Mars helicopter was absolutely not that. It most definitely isn't. So, helicopter it is. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. 
Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.